Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So I wanted to show you how I decided to start doing my canvas backs to see if it would help. It seems like the way the paint gets underneath the tape is because of the staples or on the corner where that lap is. So I took my tape and I pushed it down really tight right there where that seam is, where that overlap is. And then I put my tape inside away from the staples. And I don't mind if the paint comes that far in. I just want a clean edge, basically. Um, so I'm gonna see if that helps any. I just thought I'd show that to you. So today, I'm going to try this weird group of colors because I want, I think I want to do a triptych, triptych. And I haven't done that yet. And I thought I'd use three of the 10 by 20s and see if I can just pour across three and see how it turns out. And I really like these colors, but I just don't know if they're gonna go together or not. And I may not ever mix this one again. This one I wrote on the lid is silver with burnt sienna added to it with some pearl medium added to it with some magenta and some white. So that's an oddball color. I'll probably never get that again. Um, I've got two metallics. One is Anita's bronze. One is Deco Art Espresso because that'll give me some contrast. It's dark enough. And then this is my buff color, the last of it finally that I mixed up forever ago. That's a raw sienna that has been lightened. It has that red clay look if you use it full strength. If you add some white to it, it lightens it up to a really pretty, almost a pink, but it's not quite a pink because it's a little of the brownish tone to it, but I think it's pretty. I love that color. So I'm trying to decide how I want to layer my cup. And I think I want the dark color in the middle. And since whatever goes in first is gonna come out on top, I think I'm gonna go with the metallic, which is the bronze. You put some of that. I do like this color next to that bronze. A little espresso. A little of this pink. A little more bronze. May have too much paint before I'm done here. So, I don't have a base coat down. I'm debating now, do I do a flip cup since I layered it? I don't really wanna do a ring pour with it though. That's not what I was thinking in my head. I was thinking a pour for a triptych and I don't know about not having a base coat. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I think I'll just flip it. Just flip it. See what happens. And I didn't spray it with blaster. I didn't think of that. Duh. Duh. Uh, sometimes my brain completely kicks out of gear. I, I would blame that on old age, but we know that that's not really what it is. I figured out yesterday that I'm like a baby. If you feed me, I immediately want to go to sleep. Because I can stay up going until 1 o'clock without eating anything. And then you let me eat, and man, within 30 minutes, I'm just fighting it. I'm just fighting the drowsy feeling. I just want to go to bed so bad. So that hit me about 4 yesterday afternoon, and I'm like, I have to stay up and stay moving. Because if I go to sleep at 4, I will never sleep during the night. These colors look pretty. Ooh. 
They look so pretty. I don't want to lose any of them. That bronze is gorgeous. I'm afraid this color is so pale now it's gonna fade things out. That one was not maybe the best choice. The espresso was a good choice. I like that contrast. I'm gonna lose a lot of it though. Right in this corner. Well, look how that stretched. That looks like two different paintings in one. <laughs> I do like the colors though. I think they look pretty together. Let me check my sides. Well, that certainly is different. I absolutely love this part. Hoo-wee. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These colors look good, except maybe for that lighter color. May have to think of a different color to use for that. Hmm. Let me see if I have any more on here. I would like to take some of this edge off, but don't know if it'll move or not. And if I do, I'm gonna stretch out this corner. This edge up here is stretching out, but. Get some of that beiginess off. But I think I'm gonna leave it right there. It's stretching it out too much. So, that's how it turned out. It really has some pretty areas. I wish that it had more of a metallic look to it though. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera down, show it to you. I really hope these colors come through in this camera. That's beautiful. That looks like rocks. I love it. And then it changes. Oh, got a snake face. Little critter. And I stretched it out down through here. And now it looks like rock, but a different kind. One that has veins in it. So, that's how it looks. That, that is so cool. Right in there. It wouldn't take much to turn that right into a dragon or a snake. So, I like the, I really love this. Wonder if I did a dirty cup with it, how it would turn out. If it would all come out like that, that'd be pretty. And that little stripe of light color right there doesn't look too bad. Um, and down here, so not so much of, you know, shouldn't use so much of that next time. But that's how I got it, so that's how it turned out. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to give you a quick 
little video showing you how this dried. Ooh, I love it. Look at that. So pretty. Shiny. Very shiny where that gold is. And that gold is almost like between a, a gold and a copper. Um, so pretty. So that's how that one turned out.